What's up guys, it's Fab, and today I'm doing a Sony Vegas tutorial. I haven't done one for about two months, which is really lazy of me, but I'm going to be going back into doing them now, just because that's what mainly some of my subs like to watch. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do that 2D animation of like shapes and things and text, just to make a really cool animation. It's really easy, so I suggest you stick around and watch it and give the video a like before you click away. Okay, so here I've just got the clip that, that uh, you saw in the preview, and I've just twixted it out so that it slows down for us to add the animation. But if you don't know how to use Twixter, then you can either check out my Twixter tutorial, which is in Sony Vegas, or you can just slow it down, or you can use a snapshot, or you don't even have to slow it down. It's up to you totally. So this is what the clip, we've got the clip, comes in, Twixter, and it slows down there. And that's where we're going to be adding the animation. So the first thing you want to make sure is that you've got a few video tracks above your clip you can just do that by just right clicking on the grey video track and clicking insert video track just because we're going to need a few so here I've got a pre-ready made circle which I made in Photoshop there is a way of doing it in Vegas but I just find it easier to do it like this and it's a lot you know cleaner but yeah so I'll put a download link for this and all the sound effects I'm using in the description so that you lot can download it but obviously if you want different shapes you're going to have to make them yourself so here what I'm going to firstly do is find where I want it to start which is right here and I'm going to drag my circle up to there now we're going to go into pan and crop and we're going to scroll right out drag the corner of this and drag it all the way out and that's dragged all the way out now you can go smaller if you want but it's just easier just to do it this big now we got here's your timeline here to animate things and you want to make sure that down here where my cursor is it says sync cursor make sure that's checked because what that'll do is if you click away it syncs it in with this so you don't have to keep going off and you can see what you're doing easily so we're at the start now we're going to go ahead about 15 keyframes and you can see your keyframes down here if you didn't know that go ahead about 15 keyframes we're going to drag this up a bit bigger than you want it so about there a bit bigger than you want it and then we're going to go ahead about four keyframes and we're going to make it smaller to the size that you actually want it so now you see it's come in it's come in and it gets bigger and it makes back down like this oh couldn't really see that Now this is what it looks like so far. So that now the circle comes in, we're going to have some text come in. So you want to right click above the your circle and click insert text media. So now I'm just going to have it say tutorial. I'm just going to have it say tut because that's known for tutorial obviously. So choose your font. I'm going to use Typograph Pro because I like that and the colors white so obviously I'm going to change this to black and I'm going to change it to bold so it looks like that I'm going to change the text size down a bit oh, that's a bit small it's there that'll be fine for now and then I can exit out of this so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to see where this stops getting smaller about there and this is where our text is going to start then we're going to go into pan and crop with the text scroll out make it small and make sure it's in the middle of your circle make it as small as you want if, if you get so far that you can't see the um, you can't see the square anymore just drag it out a bit so we're going to go about there and then we're going to go ahead about six keyframes and then we're going to click default on this tab and then we're just going to check this is looks alright. So there we go. Now it gets to when it gets to this keyframe, you can do the same animation. You can make it bigger and then go ahead about three keyframes, pull it back down, and now we'll check this. Check this quickly. See what this looks like. 
that looks really good so far. You can see it gives it like a bounce effect. So we got that. So far you could leave it at that if you want, but that's really simple. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add in uh, a bar, which I will get right now. So now I've also got a bar here, which I've pre-made as well. I'll put this for download link as well. I'll put it all in a little folder or whatever. But yeah, this is a little bar. You could make this by just making a solid and changing it the go into pan and crop and untick lock aspect ratio and then mess around with it but like I said it's a lot cleaner and easier to do it like this so on this one we're going to want to right click go to properties and untick maintain aspect ratio just so it doesn't like cut off at the sides so this one we're going to want to have it under the all of this so you're going to right click where you sorry you're going to go to the layer your clips on you're going to right click and click insert video track and then drag your bar below all of this so you can see it's below. Now we're going to find a decent place on the timeline for it to start. So I want it to start just when it's, this is reaching the biggest, so about here. And what I'm going to do is go into pan and crop. And I'm going to make this a bit smaller. And now just sort out where I want it to be. There, about right there. And now. What I'm going to do is, you see here it says lock aspect ratio, untick that, and now you'll be able to make this shorter, longer, whatever. So we're going to make it, just make sure you just make sure it's right in the middle, right there, and we're going to drag it out, oh, whoops, now we're going to drag these lines out until you can't see the bars anymore, so they're under the text, and then we're going to go ahead with our keyframe here about seven keyframes and then we're going to drag it out so that it goes all the way out and now what you'll see is happening is this let's round preview this for you so the the circle comes in then the text comes in and this bar comes in so this is what it looks like so that looks really cool but now what you could do to make it even more complex is add another bar which it will be a different colour so what you can want to do for that is add a new video track copy this bar paste it above and find where you want it to start so I'm going to have mine starting a bit after this one so I'm going to have it starting there and we're going to go into pan and crop and what I like the effect to have is because it's the same keyframes as the other one it's going to be in the same position so if you go to this second one you're obviously going to want to adjust this so when it's there just get your you can change this so that it goes to the down arrow and just drag it down a little bit like there and obviously you won't you can't see much of a difference now because it's the same color so what you want to do is go to video effects go to brightness and contrast drag on default onto your layer of that which you want to change the color and we're just going to drag the brightness up you can have it white if you want I'm going to have mine a grey colour so then you can tell so if that's not far down enough for you just drag it down a bit more and I think that looks cool back there so now I'll brand preview this for you so that's what I like about that as you can see because we didn't adjust it at the beginning it like kind of drops down and this is what it looks like and that looks really cool really clean and it's really easy to do now for the final thing to make it better we're going to add some sound effects so I've got here a pop one which I actually made myself so I'm going to drag that down onto a audio line and you can see here where the pops are so you're just going to want to get up to a pop and select the pop and then you can delete this bit so find where your first thing coming in is which is the circle and we're going to have a pop on that so drag your pop go ahead on your keyframes to see where it reaches the highest point which is right there and then you can see on your wavelength here this is where the actual pop is so just drag this so it lines up with that and it will sound like this so that comes in there's obviously there's a lot of things going on so we're going to add one for the text as well so you just want to right click on that copy it 
find where the text is at its highest point which is there paste so and change it like that so that it's on the pop and this is what it will sound like so that's for the circle and the thi and the text I got a fast swish for this but as they're so close together I don't think it would sound that good but this is what it would sound like anyway I'll just give you an example quickly that does look really cool another quick thing you can do to make it look really sick is go into your video effects and search up linear blur which is right there go to horizontal medium and you can drag it onto these and you can go to the amount change it down to about 40 go ahead to when it goes to there and make sure you've got your keyframe selected when it's all the way out change the amount down to zero and you could do this for for the other bar as well go here when it's out hit the keyframe button change the amount down to zero you can also do that for the circle and the text but I'm just gonna not do it just just to save time but obviously that gives it a nice motion but that gives it a nice little motion blur effect and yeah so this is what it looks like the final outcome really cool effect really easy to do so I hope you enjoyed this if you appreciate me coming back to Sony Vegas tutorials then please give this video a like if we could get over 80 likes that would be really awesome leave a comment if there's anything else you want me to cover and make sure you subscribe if you're new to the videos okay so thanks a lot I'll see you soon